I'm Colin Kroeniger from the Department of Nutrition, and today we're going to talk about what happens during the fasted state. During fasting, your hormonal stimulus is glucagon, and glucagon really stimulates and regulates a lot of these pathways. What I'm going to focus on today is the flux of metabolites in the fasted state. Here I have drawn um, the main tissues that are involved in the fasting response. You have the muscle, the adipose tissue, liver, and kidney. During fasting, you have 18 amino acids that go through transamination and primarily produce alanine and glutamine. Alanine will go to the liver and in the liver alanine is converted to glucose. Glucose is then used by the rest of the tissues primarily by the brain. The brain loves glucose and so it's a huge huge energy sink. The other key uh, um, metabolites that are used for gluconeogenesis We'll focus here on the adipose tissue. Um, the adipose tissue during fasting, triglycerides are cleaved to free fatty acids and to glycerol. The glycerol is another substrate for gluconeogenesis and produce glucose during the fasting state. The fatty acids go to the liver and the fatty acids are used to make ketone bodies. This process is your fatty acid oxidation or beta oxidation. The ketone bodies are a form of energy and they're released by the liver. The liver makes ketone bodies, it does not use ketone bodies. It, the ketone bodies are used primarily by the brain and muscle. We've talked about the adipose tissue, we've talked about the muscle. The one uh, amino acid that I haven't finished with yet is glutamine. Glutamine will go to the kidney and in the kidney, glutamine, the carbon backbones are used to make glucose through gluconeogenesis. But glutamine also releases ammonia. This ammonia is really important. I just told you that fatty acids are used to make ketone bodies in the liver. They're mild acids, so it's really important for the um, mild acids to be neutralized, and so the ammonia produced from glutamine titrates the acidity of those ketone bodies in the urine. So glutamine does two things. It makes glucose, and it gives you ammonia to titrate those uh, ketone bodies. So in summary then, the big picture is other tissues contribute to the uh, synthesis of glucose. Your muscle gives you amino acids, and amino acid alanine goes to glucose in the liver, glutamine goes to glucose in the kidney. The adipose tissue contributes glycerol, which is used for gluconeogenesis. The free fatty acids are an important fuel that will go to the liver to make ketone bodies. One important thing about the, the ketone bodies is that they're used in what's called fuel sparing. If your body kept using those amino acids, your muscles would be completely depleted and the diaphragm is the most, sen the most susceptible to this. So therefore, the brain switches from using just glucose in prolonged fasting to using ketone bodies. So basically, it switches from glucose to using fat because ketone bodies come from those fatty acids. When it does this, you need to make less glucose. So gluconeogenesis decreases and the proteolysis, the breakdown of your muscle decreases and your body's protected. As long as you have fat, you'll be fine for a prolonged fast. Once you've depleted that fat, unfortunately you go back to using the amino acids.